Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft Tornado, old version, Tornado Survival, season 3, episode 6, the second episode in the new world. And it may be, a, this episode may be a little laggy because I'm recording this while episode 1 is uploading. I know I could have waited till after it uploaded, but... I didn't really want to, so, yeah, this, that's just how it is. I just wanted to continue playing in this world while episode one was uploading, but, and I know I could have done some off-camera stuff instead of recording right now, but... Like, I honestly, like, I know that I do, that I do some off-camera stuff sometimes, but I don't really like to do off-camera stuff because I want to be, like, very honest with you guys. Like, I want you guys to see everything, or at least almost everything, that I'm doing. So... If there's a part that you find boring, feel free to fast forward through the video, but I want to show you, like, all of, or at least most of the things that I'm doing in my Minecraft world so that you guys know that I didn't, like, cheat or anything and that, like, I'm doing all these things. And then I'm actually doing all these things, so. Yeah. I want, I just want to prove to you guys that I'm not cheating. That's what I'm trying to say. Although, sometimes I might do things off camera. Like, if I really want to, but most of the time, I'm going to try to stay away from off camera work. I've done some off-camera work in my normal tornado survival world, but yeah. And if I do end up doing off-camera work, then I'm not going to do it for very long. I might just do like a few minutes of off-camera work if I do end up doing off-camera work. So yeah. Ooh, it's very dark. Yeah, if I had mobs turned on right now, then they would be spawning like crazy right now. <coughs> okay. So now it's time for me to find where my home is going to be. Because in this episode, I'm going to start building my home. Which is another reason why I wanted to record right now. It's because I really want to start on my home. So, ow. Yeah. The, yeah, I, I just fell to the bottom of the hill. Shoot. That's great. There's literally a storm directly over us. I feel like we could be living in a tornado alley. No, I don't know why I thought I could make that jump. Alright. I think this is a good area for my home. Should I be over there? Let me go to the bottom of the hill and look. And just see where I really want my home to be. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think over here is good enough. 
because I want to be able to look down on the landscape. So, yeah. This storm is kind of scaring me, because if it drops something, it's going right over me. So I am going to have to be doing some terraforming. But it'll all be fine. How tall is this? Yeah. Part of my house is going to be sticking out of the ground, but... That's okay, I guess. Actually, not really, because there's another layer of dirt above. Alright. Um, let's begin. So... Oh. The storm has hail now. I should probably make a shovel, but now. some stone stuff. So I'm going to make a stone sword, stone pick, stone axe, and you won't believe it, but I'll make a stone shovel. <laughs> yeah, usually people don't make shovels, but I will in this case, because is that a tornado? It's getting close. I'm a little scared. Oh no, I can hear it. Okay. I think we just need to shelter in a little bit. I don't know what strength it is. It might just be an F-Zero, but just in case it isn't, I'm just gonna shelter. Yeah, the one problem with this place is that I can't... Is it a fire NATO? Guys, it's a fire NATO, and it's definitely more than an F zero. Looking at it, it's at least an F one. I can tell just by looking at it that it's F one plus, which means it can pick me up. I think it was a fire NATO too, because it was throwing fire. And my fire NATO chances are pretty low. Like in my settings, I put the chances of a fire NATO to zero, which I know that sounds like no chance, but I heard that um, if you put the fire NATO chance to zero, then there's still a very slight chance that a fire NATO could happen. It's only if you put it to negative one that it will never happen. But I have my fire NATO chance at zero, so it could happen. Is that an F2? That, that might be an F2. 
It's either, that's either an F1 or an F2. I think that might actually be an F2. Okay, we can continue the house now. But I just wanted to shelter real quick from that tornado. Oh no, our house isn't going to be this far. Our house is going to stop here. You know what? We can, we can get rid of this. So, our house is going to go like... It's going to stick out a little bit, and then I'm going to have like a sideways basement. So instead of the basement being under me, it's going to be... To my side. So that's how this is gonna go. Wow, that looks so cool. So yeah, this is how big my house is gonna be. This is how big it's gonna be. is going to stick out this way, and I'm going to need, I'm going to need to build some ladders so that I can get up and down. So that way my house will be mo pretty mob proof, because that's what I'm going for. I want my house to be mob proof so that it's very safe for mobs, and also I'll be able to look outside without mobs attacking me. Well, skeletons still might be able to attack me, but... Oh well. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this stone for now. And... This is what I'm gonna do. Why did I make... Tornado's lifting. Oh no, it just jumped. It's so interesting how it can jump like that. I think it was an F2, but it weakened to an F1. Well, that's our first F1 plus tornado. And I think it was a fire nado. I'm pretty sure it was, because I saw it throwing fire. I don't know why I turned all my logs into planks, but that just means we need to get more logs now. We're gonna need 16 logs. I'm gonna end up having a little more than that, but it's better to have more than less. I'm gonna have four extra logs, which is fine. It's getting brighter now. That's good. All right. Here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to go... No, that's going to look weird. You know what? I'm actually going to break this layer of stone. But then past here is going to be this, the sideways basement. So that's how it's gonna go. And the logs are gonna be here because I want them to be at the edge actually. One, two, three, four. I think 
they just look better at the edge. doing something wrong. Oh yeah, maybe this wasn't supposed to be that hard. Yeah, I think it's just... I'm confusing myself, honestly. I really am. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. make this another open concept house, because in my last old version, Tornado Survival World, I did make an open concept house, and that might be what this is going to be. Darn it. I dropped my food. I'll get it later. Or maybe I'll get it now. Here's what I'll do. I'll make the home room. You can even choose like what icon you want for your waypoint. I like the voxel map mod. I might actually like it better than the Zero's mini map mod, honestly. So we can go down, collect the food, and then we can just teleport to home. I'm gonna try to limit my teleporting, but teleport in situations like that. So, I might make it two more out. So, we go. That's good. So now we're just going to do this. I 
I don't know how long I've been recording for. It might be time to end off the episode, but this episode might end up being a little longer because I want to finish the house this episode. So this episode may end up being a little bit longer. Um, so yeah. make better exits later. So now I need to make a fence gate. And that fence gate will go right here. And now to make the fences. I don't know if this is going to be enough. It might be. We're going to need one more. some extras. Alright, so this is a good enough house for now. Why can't I sleep? Okay, the bed was just too far. Alright you guys, so I think we have a fairly suitable place to live for now. This is good enough for now, so I'm actually going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and one more thing actually, I was never very clear on why I started a new world. I know I should have told you this in last episode, in the first episode of the new world, but I forgot to tell you. So the reason why I made a new world was because um, in order to get the voxel map mod, I needed um, light loader, and I had to make like a different, like I had to make a whole different like forge version for light loader. So because of that, um, I can't really use my old world 
with um, with the voxel map mod, so I had no choice but to start a new world. So, if you didn't get what I said, basically I had to make a new version of Forge with Light Loader and I had to start from scratch again. I had to start with zero worlds in a new Forge version. So, yeah, that is why I had to start a new world. But, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Goodbye.